How's it going, everybody? My name is Hiram Reyna, and for this um, assignment, I interviewed Mr. Romney Cruz, a 25-year retired probation officer. Um, so let's get to it. The preferred requirements for this position must are you must be a U.S. citizen when applying, must be less than 37 years of age when you're doing the application, must have and successfully earn a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in the field of criminal justice or related fields such as um, psychology, social work, must have a moral and good character, must be able to perform stressful workloads, and must also be able to um, meet requirements such as tests and physical, physical tests as well. Um, Mr. Cruz um, illustrated that he loved being a probation officer for 25 years. Um, like I mentioned, he did five in Texas. He started his career in Texas before moving to Arizona and finishing up the rest of his of his career here. Um, Mr. Cruz um, shared with me um, the reason why he picked to become a probation officer is because he, he enjoys helping people, working with the community, working with different offenders, helping um, also young offenders um, stay on track. So, so Mr. Cruz um, illustrated that as a probation officer, you help more than one offender and you can change somebody's life in a really positive way. <clears throat> um, some of the current issues facing this field um, was the, attach the attachment with your um, clients or your offenders. Um, Mr. Cruz shared with me that most POs share a lot of time working with the offenders one-on-one -on -one and often can become their friends or personal or personal friends. And attachment with the offender is not good because if you, if you fail some of his requirements and then you are responsible for uh, holding the law, so sometimes it can be kind of kind of hard to enforce the law on a person you spend so much time educating, helping. So that that for Mr. Cruz, that was one of the hardest parts of being a probation officer, disciplining your offenders, even though they they become good friends or good clients, or even you want the best for them. But upholding the law is more important. That is your responsibility as a as a probation officer. Yes, helping the offender grow and become a better person. However, when they mess up along the way, you have to enforce the law. <clears throat> Another uh, um, ethical issue facing the field that Mr. Gru Mr. Cruz addressed, and I did a little bit of research was, um, was the lack of pay. So the lack of pay leads, um, leads um, permission officers to sometimes break the rules as not enforcing the requirements as heavy as they should. Or, um, or sometimes stealing money because they do manage budgets. <clears throat> so that was one. Of, that was two of the ethical issues that I, that Mr. Cruz addressed to me. <clears throat> that is facing the field today. So attach the attachment and the um, and the the ethical issue of stealing or mishandling money. <clears throat> the common stress related with this position is. Um, Mr. Cruz addressed, and as I did a little research, I saw that probation officers have a heavy, heavy workload. In some states, a probation officer can have up to 20 to 30 case uh, loads per one PO. So the case load is really heavy, and as additional, probation um, uh, probation officers go, go out of their way to help um, offenders when needed, even off hours. They go to court trials. They also um, deal with um, different police departments in their, in, around, the, around their area. Um, they also meet with parents if they're a juvenile um, justice per, um, probation officer. So they, do with, they deal with juvenile offenders. They deal with offenders off the clock. They deal with all of the court, a lot of paperwork. They have to track, um, track their offenders' progress. And obviously that can be a lot of paperwork, a lot of um, time reporting. So Mr. Cruz um, addressed to me that he worked a lot of off hours. So he'll go home and, and um, instead of shutting work off, he'll finish some of his projects. 
he didn't have time to finish on in his office. So definitely, <clears throat> the idea of research and that Mr. Cruz addressed to me was the heavy workload. And that for him was one of the most stressful parts of the job. Um, he also mentioned that um, dealing with offenders can be really, um, really stressful, and and frustrating sometimes. Um, as a parachute officer, you deal with a lot of different personalities, attitudes, and situations, and that can also bring stress in your life. Um, you're seeing the offender's life throughout throughout certain months, so when when they are stressed out or when they're going through some stuff, obviously um, the PO feels the same stress because they're their client. They want the best for them. So having many clients can also have a lot of stressful on the PO, and the heavy workload can be really stressful as well as dealing with other departments and such as courts or paperwork so stuff like that can definitely have a lot of stress on the probation officer <clears throat> some of the hurdles for employment that we discussed was to be a probation officer it is um preferred that you have a um, bachelor's degree in criminal justice or social work or psychology so a lot of a lot of people are not aware that to have to be a probation officer you have to have a degree, so that can be uh, the hurdles of employment. Also being qualified to have good communication skills, um, good um, work management because as a probation officer you deal with a heavy workload, paperwork, offenders off and off the clock, and with different department departments. So you must be responsible, focused, individual to apply for this position. Um, as Mr. Cruz addressed to me, being a probation officer is not for everybody. It has um, it has its difficult challenges and difficult obstacles within the career. <clears throat> future um, future um, job openings, Mr. Cruz addressed to me, and I did a little bit of research as um, probation officers is an, is an upgrowing um, profession. Um, the number of people under Putting on a probation is growing rapidly throughout the years, so the more people putting um put on probation, that means the more there's gonna be more um, positions for probation officers. So Mr. Cruz addressed to me when he was a probation officer, his agency hired throughout the whole year because it's, it's such an important job within the criminal justice system. So it's really important that we have enough probation officers for each department. <clears throat> And the, um, the interview process was actually really fun, and I learned a lot about this career. Um, <clears throat> myself, being a criminal justice student, I never looked to be a probation officer. I always thought I wanted to be a police officer, but now doing this research, actually interviewing a probation officer, I can see it's, it's a really good, um, rewarding career to have. You do help a lot of uh, offenders become better people. So I really enjoyed the process of this interview and getting to know Mr. Cruz's career and also seeing another opportunity for myself um, to be interested in. So the interview process was actually <clears throat> really informative and really good. Um, Ms. I'm a former student at Mr. Cruz. He is now a professor at Shrema Community College. So it was an honor for me to interview him as somebody I look up to as a professional in the criminal justice system. So for me, it was really an honor to interview him. Um, and also, and also one thing I learned, the difference between a probation officer and a parole officer. So I got really good knowledge on the profession. Um, I learned a lot about what, what it is to be a professional in the criminal justice system and how ethics and responsibility plays a big role in uh, any career you choose within the criminal justice system. So this, um, this assignment helped me, me personally a lot to learn about a career that I might be interested in now in pursuing just because of the of the backup of, of the background information I do have now. Well, I hope that this video um this video really helps you guys um to pursue uh, a career in as a probation officer. So thank you guys for watching.